Welcome to my tour of the Nissan LD28 engine. Here's the engine. The valve cover has been removed. And this is the cam gear. It spins twice compared to the crankshaft down at the bottom. This is the camshaft. Those are the rocker arms and the valve springs and down inside through this air intake you can see the intake valves and just inside this one exhaust you can see an exhaust valve so the exhaust manifold connects here as well as the air intake manifold And there's the steering rack. This is the alternator. And a note about these alternators they generate a vacuum here, which is connected to the transmission. Down there. That's the air conditioning compressor. And the big pulley at the bottom. That's the crankshaft. Belt goes around it. Crankshaft pulley exit. Let's move it to us. This is a steel radiator. And this engine has a timing chain. Nice double chain. And you can see the valve springs once more. Head bolts. These are the fuel injectors. And the fuel is, is, is injected from this the fuel pump or injection pump. And that's the accelerator cable. That's the oil filter. Down at the back, that's the starter. Just above is the starter solenoid. The timing mark in this engine, if you look carefully, is there. And you can see a marker there which lines up on the plate, and that means it at number one TDC. filter running down to the injection pump. Cool water from the radiator enters the engine here and hot water exits from the engine here back into the radiator. device is the alternator it charges the battery after the car has been started and it powers devices electrical devices the injection pump here is powered by a belt a rubber belt from the crankshaft pulley down at the back Crankshaft pulley also the crankshaft also powers this chain which turns the cam. Now at this point if one looks carefully the rays and this rays is away from the rocker arm here. So it means it's flat at the bottom so the spring here is all the way up all the way up meaning the valve is all the way up and closed 
so at this point the cylinder is sealed now when this turns down clockwise it's going to send this valve down and open it way behind here so the plug connected by a plate and then a wire on the end of the plate so that thick white wire is the glue plug system which heats up the cylinder so that when the engine turns it fires automatically that goes off after a while and the engine then runs on its own the steering rack master cylinder for the brakes two at the back there power each front wheel and the one in front runs to the back and operates both rear brakes and that round thing on the back is called a booster which when the car is on makes the brakes apply with much less effort this is the glue plug relay which when a switch is pressed, pressed inside it powers the glue plug system and heats up the cylinders it's also called a heater switch That's in the Sun LD28. Very, very tough diesel engine and very reliable.